The president of the National Football Coaches Association of Trinidad and Tobago says the march was not just to highlight the plight of football, but all sports in general. The public must remember that it's not just football, it's sports in general uh, that has been put you know, on the shelf proverbially since uh, last year. We are right? approaching 20 months where um, persons weren't able to engage in any kind of sports. Right? And I think for a society like ours, um, again, the COVID-19 is, is posing to be quite a challenge. And well, we know from um, research that engaging in sport is one of the ways that we can you know, keep our bodies healthy. He believes it's time to allow competitive sport so persons can have a chance to earn a living once again. There are persons you mentioned in the three categories. There are those who uh, are full-time, those who have a job, those who working in sports is their means of survival and feeding their families who have not been able to have an opportunity to work because of the pandemic, right? And I mean, in initial um, public health measures, the lockdowns and whatnot, they would have been very necessary, right? But 19 months in, we are looking and the world is beginning to play football. The football coach's president adds, some of our Caribbean neighbors have already opened up to competitive sport while facing a similar situation to ours. And believes having a time frame for when sport can be opened will ease a lot of anxieties. One of the things that we're asking for is that we have a timeline, right? A projected timeline even as to when we are going to be able to engage in sports. So we are not trying to you know, discount or disregard the public health measures. They are important, but we also need to keep the motivation of those who would have been sitting at home for 19 months and give them some idea as to when possible they'll be able to engage in sport. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.